Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the latest ESP32 Ultra Wideband Pro board from Maker Fabs. This board is similar to a normal UWB board, but there is one significant difference regarding the range. The normal UWB chip has a range of 20 to 40 meters, but this board has a range of 200 meters. Can you imagine such a long range using a UWB chip? Yes, this is possible due to the amplifier chip embedded in the DW1000 UWB chip. I conducted a range test of this board outdoors. I kept moving and the distance kept increasing, yet the UWB tag was still able to receive the signal from the anchor. The maximum distance I achieved was 176 meters. Unbelievable, right? So in this video, we will learn about this ESP32 UWB Pro board, which has an OLED display. Throughout this tutorial, we will examine the board design, specifications and various applications of the ESP32 UWB Pro module. Additionally, we will learn how to utilize this board for high accuracy ranging and localization, including distance testing. We have already made three videos related to ESP32 UWB boards like DW1000 and DW3000. To gain a more comprehensive understanding of UWB technology, we recommend reviewing our previous videos. The link is in the description. But for now, let's get started. Welcome back again. This board was sent to me by MakerFabs. This board is available in two versions, one with an OLED display and the other without an OLED display. You may buy either according to your requirements. The board price is higher than $50 and you need at least a pair of boards for testing. On the back side of the board, the DW1000 Pro chip is embedded via SPI pins. It has an antenna with a frequency of more than 7 GHz. The ESP32 antenna is far from this antenna, so there is no signal interference. This is a CP2014 USB2 UART chip for programming and serial communication. This is a TP4056 chip for battery charging, and here is a battery port. You can connect a 3.7 lithium ion battery. Using these GPIO pins, you may connect external sensors and modules. On the front side of the board, we can see an ESP32 rover chip and a 1.3 inch OLED display with a resolution of 128x64. The OLED can display the distance results directly. If we take a closer look at the ESP32 chip, you can see all the details and specifications. The ESP32 is a powerful microcontroller chip with Wi-Fi and BLE capabilities. That is why it is used in high-speed applications with UWB chips. Moving ahead, this board has two push buttons, one for reset and the other for boot. It has a Type-C USB port so you can connect the USB cable and program through it. In the practical part, we will use the pair of boards for distance testing. One board will act as an anchor and the other board as a tag. The first thing you need to do is open your Arduino IDE. You need two tabs as we are going to upload the code to both the anchor and tag boards. Here is the code from MakerFabs. The code is already well written and working fine and no additional modifications are needed. You need to install this modified DW1000 library. Download this library and add it to the Arduino folder using the library manager. You also need a library for OLED display. Now connect the anchor board to your USB port of your computer. Also connect the tag board to another USB port. From the board manager, choose the ESP32, tape module and respective COM board. Now hit the upload button so that the code will be uploaded to the both boards. Finally, the code is uploaded. Open the serial monitor on the both tabs. As you can see, the anchor and tag have both been detected by each other, and the distance is calculated. The anchor is receiving the signal from the tag. 
the tag is continuously transmitting its pulses to the anchor, hence the distance is calculated. The OLED on the tag has also started displaying the distance in meters and the signal strength in decibels. For battery powered applications, I have disabled the OLED code on the anchor side. As this board is designed for long distance testing, the minimum distance it shows is slightly incorrect. It showed a distance of 0.5 meters when it was placed 0.2 meter apart. So an additional 30 cm distance is shown by it. For long range, this minor error can be ignored. According to the manufacturer, the range it could offer is 200 meters. So, we decided to take it outside for outdoor range testing. I powered the anchor using a battery and kept it in a stationary position on a bench. Then the tag was on the movable part in this testing. The OLED display shows the major distance in meters and the signal strength in dVm. After moving to a distance of about 25 meters from the anchor, the OLED showed the following distance and signal strength. On moving further, the OLED kept continuously displaying distance and the signal was proper. But the signal strength started decreasing. As we reached a 100 meter distance, the signal strength further decreased. Up to a distance of 142 meters, the signal was clear and proper. At about 150 meters, the signal strength drastically started weakening and sometimes the OLED showed no anchor as it missed the signal occasionally. After moving further, the signal was lost and the tag could only receive the signal from the anchor sporadically. Most of the time the signal was lost, however, we managed to achieve a distance of 176 meters. We stopped testing after that, as the signal strength was too weak and tech could rarely receive the signal. In conclusion, the outdoor range testing of the device revealed that its performance did not meet the manufacturer claim of a 200 meter range. This could be because there was obstacles like trees and the surrounding environment was not in the proper line of sight while testing. You could conduct proper testing again if you want to get more accurate distance readings. From our testing, it is also advisable to consider the device's effective range as less than the advertised 200 meters for practical applications. The complete written tutorial and guide can be found on the how to electronics website article. You may follow this guide to collect more additional information. The guide also has code and other details for your easy access. Thank you so much for watching.